Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, it's sort of weird, but I just wanted to find out if a dinosaur could actually cut her. Now, first off, we're going to start by just removing bulk. We've got our Reaper Clippers by t -Pob and also our Bashacorn. And the idea here is because we're going to be doing a crop with a skim fade, we're going to just get all the hair down so it's at a nice working level. Now, please bear in mind while you're watching this, this is the dinosaur. This is first time cutting her when he was born. There were no sort of electronics, there were no clippers, there was no YouTube to learn off, so he's just going off what he thinks would be best with a little bit of instruction. I mean, there's no set way to do this, there's no rhyme or reason or... I mean, there's no specific set way, you just want to get the bulk off this bit so we can really start the haircut. If anything, it's a customer's fault for being so scruffy. I mean, you've got no excuse for her this length. But he's doing quite a good job. Getting through it, getting all the bulk off anyway. Okay, so now we've got a number two guard on. Now this customer is having a number two on top, down to a skim fade on the back and sides. So what we're doing here is we're getting all the length down to one, I would you say, uniform length. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty impressed by what the T-Rex is doing right now. Let's just quickly get all this hair off and then we can move on to the next phase. Next, we use our ghost trimmers to set off the bald line for the skin fade. Whoa, I'm actually really impressed. You've got to bear in mind, he has never, ever, ever done this before. Just getting all that hair off. Bear in mind, because we're in a pandemic at the moment, we are working with a mannequin head. So you do get stitching all around the hairline. Unfortunately, we can't remove that. It's very, very... You can't literally can't remove it without sewing the plastic off. So we just continue to bald this part out. And then we move on to our 1.5. So this is a one guard open on the clippers. And we're just starting to slowly transition from the short length to the top. Also bear in mind, we haven't done foils on this guy because what you'll learn going forward with my tutorials is if he doesn't specifically ask for foils, then he doesn't get foils. Now we're on the half guard. Just trying to blend that line in. So we've gone to 1.5, then we've gone down to the half guard. As you can see, he's doing an amazing job, an amazing job. It's like he's been cutting years. Now he's took the half off, I believe. Yeah, and he's just slowly transitioning that into a nice smooth skin fade. Close the guard. They really get that last line out.
I've got to say, this is amazing work. I'm, I'm sort of shocked that I don't have to pay for this. This is education at its highest. So new, new ways of cutting, I'm seeing new styles. He's using his blade, he's using his, his arm on his blade, he's moving it up and down. Really impressing me. Okay, so we showed you one side, now we're just gonna bulk everything off on the other side as quick as we can. And then any touch-ups, we'll do the touch-ups if need be. But again, this is just the same process as we did on the other side. I mean, it's a bit, he's getting a bit wild here, isn't he? But yeah, okay. Went a bit fast, maybe a little bit too high there with the, with the zero. Yeah, it's looking pretty smooth. And bear in mind, this is his, this is his first haircut ever. So you can't really be too harsh with your critique. Just touching them little bits up. Right, he's really getting into a nice tight skin fade now. Got the ghost back out and he's really getting that down right to skin for this lucky customer. Bear in mind, we can't taper at the neck fully because it's a manic inside and it's sewn in, but we would love to. He would. He did tell me that he really wants to do a skin fade on a live person soon. So if you want to get your cut by the dinosaur, just leave us a comment and let us know. I mean, and you could be next. He's giving out free cuts while he's training. Okay, so we've done that. So now we're lining up the front because this guy wants a nice, nice lineup. Um, now one of the tricks that I've told him to do is at the front part of your hair, you want to get that a little bit shorter and the rest, so because we've had a two, we're doing a one and a half at the front with a one in certain places, just to get a clean, tight front that lasts a bit longer. So he's lining it up, getting it nice and smooth for the customer. This bit, you really want to be careful not to push the customer back at all because the regrowth would be just a bit stubbly and disgusting after a week if you did. And no one likes a pushback. Yeah, just a nice and neat lineup, trying to get it. Oh, we might have, might have sl slipped a little bit there, but like I said, it's his, it's his first time cutting, so you can forgive it. Right. Um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't discuss you using the razor because obviously you haven't been taught. But I like your initiative, and we'll see if he can keep it smooth. Yeah, this. I mean, it's clean. He's keeping it clean. Everything's sanitized. I mean, I've seen him use his his um, clip aside and. I mean, what can you say? He's clean, it's a nice clean finish. It might not be perfection, but it's his first haircut. You've got to give him credit for that. You've just got to. Now listen up guys. He told me to let you know that they kind of call him 360 Dino. Cause when he spins the customers around, they come out and they look something like this. Yeah! Boy. Oh. Uh.